Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Scarlet Violet the Indigo Disc. Last episode we started the DLC off, came to Blueberry Academy, we started exploring a little bit and we found out Kieran is uh, the champion here and he's a bit of a bully and we managed to uh, enroll in the league. Uh, we had two votes against two and then Kieran was like, you know what, fine, uh, you can join because he ain't going to lose and you know what, we're not going to lose either. So, we now have to go and take on uh, each of the Elite Four members. So we need some BP to go take them on, not sure how much you actually need. But I think we'll take on, uh, I think it was Crispin, right, his name was. Go take on this dude first, who is a fire type, which I think is probably going to be the easiest. She's fairy. Uh, Drayton, by the way, who is so awesome, is dragon type. And um, Amaris is steel type. So, let's go around. Like I said, I did a little bit, ooh, yeah, cool. Did a little bit of uh, grinding off screen in the sense of catching Pokemon. Because we saw Perrin, and Perrin wants us to catch 200 Pokemon for the hot tip. Which I'm not sure what it's going to be, but obviously we saw the uh, the Blood Moon Ursa Luna in Kitakami. So maybe we can get like another cool form like that, that'd be awesome. But let's start making our way across. Where are we going? So we want to go, I think, just keep going south? Yeah, if we just keep going... Uh, actually, I think we're... If I just do this... Rotate... So I think we kind of want to go... That's north. This way? Go in this direction. Hey, pick up some items. Like, getting more BP done on the way is actually gonna come and clutch because that'll help us do more Elite Four members later on. Yeah, yeah, this way. Come the right way, so I double check. Just in case. I caught quite a few Pokemon. And I think we will be ready. If it stays raining, this would be really good for the battle. <laughs> But yeah, we've got still got a long way to go for 200. And if we stay in here, we'll just go across like this. Probably over there, that's where we're going to that platform. Is that a terror Pokemon over here? Oh, it's a raid. Nice type. If I see any Pokemon I haven't caught yet, I'm gonna catch it on the way. But ideally I want to try and do this fight in the rain, because it would give us the advantage. <laughs> Quick! So I'm pretty sure this dude's fire type. We've got, obviously, our Ogre Pond with the Water Mask on. But I don't know how much BP we need. I'm, I'm thinking, like, 500 seems like a, a good number. But talk to me for the Elite Trial. So welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're Hayden, right? One of the BB League challengers. I am. You need to have only 50? That's it? I was thinking it was going to be, like, 500 minimum or something. But, yeah, that's that's fine. We need to try saying 3,000 because 3,000 for each biome increases like the map Pokemon in there. Hey Crispin, an order's just coming for you. So coming right up. Yes, Chef. Oh hey, I saw you in the cafeteria. You hate him, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking up a uh, cooking at a nice simmer over here. But we got to move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. Yes, yeah, so we've got to do a trial before we're taking on each uh, Elite Four member. Oh, So we've got a Magmorta. That's pretty cool. So I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. So uh, taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming at, coming to our school. Now that's lit. No wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. If I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial is no cakewalk. My Elite Trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot I'll have me breathing flames. I cannot handle spice, but I know, I know what you're thinking. That sounds easy, right? You can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the elite club members around here to get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. The key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. Are you ready to take on my elite trial, Hayden? Yeah, I'm ready. Sweet, give me a hot minute to get everything set up. As long as it can continue raining, <laughs> it should be great for us. <laughs> so they're all the league members we need to speak to, but first things first, negotiate with the league club members to get some ingredients. 
You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. Once you've got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, come give me a holler. All right then, let's start this now. <laughs> all right, I'll eat trial, make a super spicy sandwich. Right, uh... Three ingredients if you bring the right answer. Chili sauce or ketchup. We want chili sauce. So I wonder if anyone has any uh, lovely green cucumbers to spare. How about you? If you have a cucumber, will you trade me for some chili sauce or ketchup? I'll trade you for chili sauce, but I don't need cucumbers. So, uh, free ingredients if you bring the right answer. Wow, you don't have any ingredients at all. Come back when you- okay. Right, so we've got to find the first person, person to speak to. Uh, trade your having a marmalade and mustard. So, okay, uh, who's gonna give us the first ingredient? Jalapenos. Uh, hi. Do you all know jalapenos are super spicy? And guess what? I've got some. And all I have you know, I'm a good, I'm good at battles. Like, really good. But you want jalapenos, so I'll give you a choice. Do you want to battle me for some? Or buy some for 50 BP? Um, I'll battle you, why not? Like I said, I'm really strong. I think you might regret your decision. I don't think so. I want to save my BP. Oh, here we go. So for each Elite Four member is going to be 50 BP. I mean, you just need 200 total and... I'm lazy to drop that. We can do some on the way to the next ones as well. Right, so I think I'll start things off by... Hitting you with this and then we will... Shadow Ball Blossom. I love Ogre Pond's Batman, it looks so good. <laughs> I was very surprised, when I first like learned about Ogre Pond and the mask, when I first watched the, the, you know, the mask, the, when they advertised it, I thought, ah, I'm not going to like it, and then playing for the DLC, I was like, you know what, I really like Ogre Pond. It's really cool. I just want to keep on the team. But I, just, I really want to just like beat Kieran with it, see what he says. But, uh, we probably should switch out. Go Sarah Ledge. One thing I always say, the, the, the battle music, man. Like, love or hate things Game Freak does, I feel like every single Pokemon game since they started, the music has always been Mwah. Chef's Kiss, top tier. So good. As DLC, it just. I'm pretty sure it's slightly different, right? We definitely want to battle that Lacey. That was new. Magma, okay. I feel like this could have been a bit more difficult if battle if that Torkoal had like uh, drought and then just solar beam in me and green flamethrowers. Could have been, could have been tough. Nice. Scorching sands. Real good, Sarah Ledge. We finish with the vile plume. Get some HP back. Nice. Good or good. Now nah, just the magma. Uh, I guess we'll just go Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball. Welcome to the Shadow Realm, Magma. <laughs> oh, con okay, Confuser and Zorog, that's fine. Welcome to the Shadow Realm. Easy. I got some jalapenos. Sweet. So that's a whole lot of pain, yo. What a burn. I got some burn hills if you want one. My coming clutch. So I see you're a jalapeno worthy trainer. Okay, sweet. Oh, and you get healed up after each battle? That's sick, thank you. Right, uh... Trade your jalapeno, okay, for what? So I'm a, I'm a fine pickle, I am, I'm missing two whole ingredients. Listen, I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you front me some... I don't know what that is, an olive oil? Uh, I don't have that. I don't know 
people. What else I need? Oh, there's more people over here. Mayonnaise. Three ingredients if you give me something. What do you want? So I'm hunkering for some potato -y stuff that you eat cold. Oh! Okay, so there's potato salad over here. <laughs> I like the music. Beat me for potato salad! You know, I've never had potato salad before. I always see like in um, like TV shows or something like, oh, I'll make him some potato salad to bring to the, the whatever. And just like, I don't know. I like salad. I like potato. But whenever I've seen it in like just the shows, it never looks that appetizing. <laughs> I could be completely wrong. All right, uh, let's shut up all Electros. That camera up is super dead. Nice. Let me know if you had uh, potato salad before. Like, I assume it's gonna taste potatoey. But I, I do like potatoes. <laughs> it just looks a bit, yeah. Especially, as it, it looks like it's served cold as well. Like, it looked like it was hot. It, it could be nice. <gasps> My Zorak. The illusion's worn off. Uh, I mean, we can just take it again. Why not? It's fine. You ain't gonna live. Bam! Have that potato salad now, thank you very much. So yes, I can hear the voice of the potato salad speaking to me now. Oh, we get a lot of money as well. Right. So we get the potato salad. There's something so uh, restorative about carrying potato salad around, don't you think? Uh, I, sure, I'll take your word for it. So next we'll go and give it to you. All right, have a free ingredients for just a bit of it. Got any of that potatoey stuff? Yes, potato salad. This is it. You won't believe how much I've been a craving potato salad all day. Here you go, free ingredients in exchange for your potato salad. What we got? Onion, cucumber. Oh, that. Prosciutto? What is, I've never... No idea what that is. I don't know if I've ever seen that before in my life. But this guy wanted it, right? Uh... Oh, and, and olive oil. Okay. Uh... So what do you want? So let's see if you can get this trivia question. If you do, I'll give you three ingredients. What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? You don't get any of that. Eggs, oil, and vinegar. Chili sauce or ketchup. Uh, yeah, you need cucumbers. What do you want? Want some eggs? I really, really want some eggs. If you've got any eggs, I'll trade you some that really brought in your trisons. Uh, don't have eggs. So I think I bought too much marmalade and I really don't need all this mustard either. Wouldn't trade your vinegar for even my marmalade or mustard. I'll, I'll get the mustard. Oh, I don't need vinegar. Oh. Okay. Uh. Mayonnaise. Wait, eggs, oil, and vinegar. Is that mayonnaise? If you want mayonnaise, I'll share some of you, but only if you can defeat me. Yeah, sure. So this would be mayonnaise, and then we go talk to the lady for trivia quiz for the, the mayonnaise, right? Get the free ingredients, and then we can maybe get cucumber or get vinegar. And... Okay, I think slowly get in there. So. Take up Pyro and can't hit you because you're part normal. So we should switch out. Mm. Let's go Sarah Ledge. Like Oglepon's easily got this. I'm gonna go for a psycho cut. Bam. Nice! 
one pyro down. Hey, grow them levels. Not that we need it. And flash fire. <laughs> all good, all good. I think out of all the Elite Four members, this should be the easiest one for, uh, for us to beat. Like, I'll probably start off with Ogre Pond and Serral Edge. And then we can just go from there and hopefully just terrestrialize and. Yeah. Hopefully win. So I may have underestimated you. Oh, these food puns are great. Okay, so. so here's some mayonnaise, like I promised, it's really good. So spread the word. So a bottle of mayonnaise. So we'll go trade the mayonnaise. Wait, wait, now we've got this. Can I use this as the answer? Mayonnaise. Correct, the answer is mayonnaise. You've got five star knowledge, I see. And here's your prize, free whole ingredients at once. Oh, an egg, olive oil. Oh, okay, we've got the things we need now, okay. So, uh, this dude wanted uh, the thing in the olive oil, right? Yeah, here you go. Gets us another jalapeno. We trade the stuff for the mustard. Trade for mustard. And you wanted eggs. We've got eggs. Okay. Uh... I want the chili sauce if we can get that. I don't have oh no, I do have cucumber. Sweet. Okay, so that is everything we need, surely. Go, go. We start cooking. Let's go. Got everything you need. I want to start making a super spicy sandwich. I want to start. I can tell you're cooking on high heat. Looking forward to something extra spicy then. Right, so. Uh, just add that. Next, uh, we've got to have chili sauce, mustard, mayonnaise would cool it off. I don't think we want mayonnaise. Let's hope this is good. I have not made a sandwich in this game yet. <laughs> oh, it's kind of falling out a little bit. Can I like, rotate? That's fine. I do love onions. This is good. All done. And I, I, I wouldn't serve that to someone, honestly. <laughs> the first, like, at the ends of the, the, the sandwich is gonna be just bread. Bread and a bit of sauce. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's good enough. Sweet! A tasty Hayden original. I, I did not know that would be tasty, but oh! This isn't spicy anymore, it's just pain! I'm burning up all the way inside! Even the spicy of the souls would love that super spicy sandwich. So you know what? I mean, I can already give you my verdict. You pass! That was absolutely perfect. Your sandwich brought the heat like nothing else. Hey! So I'm gonna enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Alright, let's go do this! Ready for this battle, man. Probably should have switched the Pokemon around first, but well, that wraps up the trial. So now it's time to face me in an elite battle. 
You all are prepped and ready to take me on? Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure, let's just go for it. So coming right up. Watch out, because I'm cranking up the heat. Yes, chef. So, Hayden, I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran, huh? It sure seems like Drayton's cooking up something fishy too. Ah, everything's getting so complicated. Can't you just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. Oh, I like this guy. I agree. I'm not kind of the guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. Yeah, I like this guy. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in, in this here uh, Savannah biome. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Rotom Heat and Talon Flame. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. Right, I think I'm gonna just thrust my first. Hit the Talon Flame. And I'm gonna Shadow Ball the Rotom. Just wanna get rid of that part of grass, typing. Just make us pure water and then we can just uh yeah, not get hurt by the talent flames. Like if it goes like Brave Bird, that would really hurt. Right, let's find out. Lead Blitz, okay, onto my Tinkerton. Ooh, but it's not my Tinkerton! Recall, that's fine, and I think we got the Talon Flame, come on. Nice. Critical hit. Don't think we needed the crit, but I'll take it. God, are you really gonna douse our flames if you keep using moves like that? That's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. What, what happened? Where did all that damage come from? Critical hit, baby! We in Crit City. That's what I like to be. I know them crits. I saw I grow a level Will-O-Wisp, and it missed. Oh yeah, do not hit my Ogre Palm with that. It's not too bad. Damage plus defense drop. Sweet, next Shadow Ball should take you out. Is it a low limit second draw? It's normal one, okay. In that case, I'll attack you and then the Shadow Ball. A bit of malice. What's stronger, actually? I don't know what's stronger. 75, I think. Yeah, let's go Shadow Ball and Executor. Take out the Rotom. No way you live this now. So eat. This is in exactly towards body. I don't know, it looks kind of cool on this game. Let me just close up for a second. I really feel like I saw the detail around it's like the wooden part. Okay, got Citrus Berry to get you a bit more HP. That's fine. Solar Beam. Well, you gotta charge up, so, uh, yeah, good luck living. <laughs> oh, wait. You got another situation. Okay, that's fine. I'll stop attack you. Can't get that solar beam off, because that's gonna probably hurt a little bit. Camera up. It's not gonna outspeed us. So if we just, uh. Hmm. No, no, I'm gonna do. Uh. No, no, I should, I should, I should do this. Mm, I don't know. Solar Beam's gonna hurt. I don't know if I can take it out. Just give it a go. Double attack it. So I want to go for Slam, but with how often I miss Slam, I just didn't think it was the best idea. I want to switch out, but... Come on, Shadow Ball. Finish it off. Yeah, fine. That's good, that's good, that's good. Woo! A little bit worried about that solar beam, I'll be honest. Camelot might take out the world. Oh, he will. That's fine. Let's go Serial Edge. That's fine. Right, I'm gonna take out the camera up. 
go for a, let's go for a Shadow Claw and Magmortar. Yeah, gotta take out the camera up just because it goes for like an okay. Earthquake. I should probably go Earthquake to kill Magmortar, but... Nice. That's easy. Come on, Serral Edge. Big damage on the Magmortar. Oh, Sunny Day. That's... that's fine. Next Shadow Claw takes you out. Blazerkin. Please come with that. Uh, we'll go Shadow Claw to finish off the Magmorta. So time to terrestrialize and really turn up the heat. Go on, Blazerkin. Burn, burn bright red. It's gotta be fire type, sure. Yeah. Another pawn. When the sun's up, we can do some big damage still. That'd be great. Hey, let's go! Sunny day sucks. Ain't stopping me. And then Shadow Claw can probably finish you off. Oh, Thunderbolt. Nice. First Elite Four member down. I wanted to win, but I lost. Ooh. Ooh, that was amazing. We cranked the heat all the way up, eh, Hayden? So I love battles and I love cooking because they're both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or you lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. Wish I knew how we could go back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, didn't mean to douse the flames there. You are real strong, Hayden. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle to my fry frying pan. Whoop you up to something great. Oh, please do. Hey. It's kind of cool just having Magmortar do the flames there. So here, I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. Temper Flare. Spell by desperation, the user attacks a target, the move's power is doubled if the user's previous move failed. So I've got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is, crank up the heat all you want in the BB League. <laughs> Leaving your Magmore behind, man. Oh, yo, champ in the, hey, champ in the making. <laughs> That's uh, one Elite Four member B. Things are looking good for you. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to all uh, chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way uh, things are. Uh, too in his own way. Uh, you just might be the uh, one we need to uh, shake things up in the League Club. That's it from me. Good luck with the remaining Elite Three. I like Drayton, he's really feeling like the main character in this story. I know obviously Kieran's like the, the, the you know the main person, but Drayton's getting a lot of uh, screen time and I honestly I like it. I like Drayton. So now we've got to decide who we take on next. Uh, so let's look at the map. We can do Steel, Fairy. I wanna do Drayton last. I think because we've barely explored the canyon area, I think I'll go do Fairy. I need to go beat Lacey. Because, uh, yeah. I'm still mad at her at last episode because obviously she was like, no, we can't join the league. Technically against the rules. It's like, nah, man. Be cool. Let me just get healed up. So Fairy type for us. Uh... I mean, not the easiest, but maybe Tinker Tong can have a good time. Mm. Yeah, 
Whoop, whoop. Go with Tinker Tom. All right, so what's our BBE quest? Defeat 10 wild Pokemon using auto battle, pick up items, take a photo of a wild Pokemon flying. Don't see any. Oh, wait. No. Wait. Ah. Okay. Fly. Fly again. Technically, would that count? Because. Oh. I said Comfy are technically flying, aren't they? That worked! That worked! <laughs> oh, sweet! Alright, um... Let's just take out these on the way. Which way are we going? So we just want to go... Yeah, follow the... The path, basically. We'll just kill some of these on the way. Nice. These BBQs done. Actually, I need to catch one of these. I don't think I have a picky peck. Right, uh, quick ball. Hey, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, and that's another one done. Alright, so that's another BBQ done. I actually kind of liking these BBQs. It's kind of fun just to get done while you're exploring the main quest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to change that one. So can I do that again just by... I think these work, because technically they're... Oh, floating. Oh, wait, uh, uh, quick, quick, uh, gotcha, nice, haha, <laughs> okay. So what are we still doing? Auto battle, pick up items, and catch Pokemon. So catch one I haven't got yet. Oh. So I thought I saw blue, and I was thinking, isn't Shiny Picky Peg blue? And then, I don't think it was anything. Okay. Fight some of these on the way. Kill these. Kill them. Don't think I'll crush them. <laughs> a big hammer. Uh, we got a little executor. Where do we want to go across? Ooh. Uh... You know what? I'll, I'll try to catch a muck. I'll get a one and done. Just for a quick ball. If we get it, we get it. If not, we don't. Honestly, a little muck looks kind of sick. She'd love the look of it. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. All right. Well, give it a go. If we don't get it, we'll just run away. I want to go to that cave as well, just in case it's like a TM or something we can pick up in there. Oh. Sweet. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate the extra level. Oh, what do we got in here? Oh. XP candy M and a rare candy. I feel like rare candies are feel pretty rare nowadays since um we've been getting all the the XP candy, that's it. Oh, it's a little dealing. Uh still what do we need to do? We need 500 yards, catch Pokemon. Border battle still. Let's go over there, that's where we're going. I think I need one of you. Is that a Vulcan? I don't know, I've seen all the Pokemon, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of awesome. This feels like, I don't know, it might be just me, but it feels like there's like so much more Pokemon just around than there usually was in the main game in Kitakami, or I, I could be imagining it, just feels like there's more. It's just like the returning Pokemon just feels new. <laughs> I don't know why. Just kind of cool to see everything around. All right, uh, yeah, I'll get a gloom. Wait, oh, so make a sandwich that uses at least three ingredients. 130 BP. Good time. Then easy one. So I'm just gonna catch this first, and I'll just take out the rest. Look at them. Like quick, 
Oh, Gloomland under attack. What do we do? What do we do? Right, I'm just going to take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Say goodbye, Gloom. I'm taking you away from your family. Forever. Spend time in the box. Right, what am I at right now, I wonder? I want to say I'm probably like 50. Obviously, we need 200. Maybe 50 is too much. Uh, we have... 44. Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Still obviously a long way to go. For 200, but I'm hoping by the time we actually finish the main story... It's pretty good, it's just there as well. I'm hoping by the time we finish the, the main story for this, we can go back and talk to Perrin to the actual side quest. But I'm pretty sure, like, aren't we going to uh, Area Zero again for this DLC? I feel like we've still got a ways to go. But again, we'll have to wait. Wait and see. Like, I don't mind, like, one of the videos, like, when I edit in the next video, I can always just, like, grind, get some, uh, catch some more Pokemon. For the next part. And I see something sleeping up there. What's asleep? Just another month. Some stuff. Ooh. You don't want to walk into it. You just like stop just, just behind it. Catch an electric type. Okay. I see an electric type. We'll catch one, but honestly, I don't remember even seeing one single electric type yet. Probably might be like a different. Oh no, I guess isn't Lord and Geodude? Is it part? No. Is it part electric right away? Or is it just a golem? I, I cannot remember. Let's go and do this. Hey yo! So welcome to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Hayden, right? One of the BB League challengers. You need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. That's absolutely fine. I'm glad it's not so much. I honestly thought before, like when we found out last episode, I thought it was going to be like 500. But thank you very much. Duly received and noted. So I need you over here, Miss Lacey. Come in. Oh, if isn't Hayden. I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. All right, what will we be doing then? So thank you for coming to the uh, Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And uh, I'm really sorry for the way I protested you joined the BB League. Yeah, you should be sorry. Of course it's true that this is uh, quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs, but mainly I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already officially begun. Uh, so let's get, get to it and have some fun. So the trial that I came up with is a Pokemon quiz, oh no. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. Oh, I'm gonna suck at this. Uh, are you ready to attempt my Pokemon quiz? Uh, yeah, I'm ready, I hope. Uh, great, then I'll just get everything ready. I suck at quizzes, man. The pressure just gets to me. It's Pikachu! You can get that one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon, well known for producing electricity within its body. But in which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Cheeks, right? Go right for the body part you think is correct. Cheeks! Hey! Ding ding ding! You got it! So Pikachu stores its electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you'll get a little shock. But don't you think they're just super round and cute? Yeah, they're alright. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next question. Okay. Venonat. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you'd think it would be, isn't it? But it's also uh, fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even on the darkest of nights, Venonat is able to use a certain part of its body like radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. The antenna, right? 
It's gonna be an, the antenna. I would assume. It's not? So I'll give you a hint. What we're looking for is quite a large part of Vinette's body. I guess again. The eyes? Wait, that's his mouth? I thought that was like it's like nose. I thought it's like mouth was just like hidden. Because it makes sense a little like fangs there. Uh, eyes? Oh. Okay then. So good thing is it looks like you can't fail this. So isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees a whole world we can't see? Now that I think we're ready to move on to our next question. A little bit more, feel a bit more at ease now. Just thinking back to like the Elite Four one, when you get the question wrong, you could like do it all over again. We're getting weary with my quiz. How about a couple of tea? Maybe uh, these three Sinistee siblings. Here's question three. Sinistee like to live in precious antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these three Sinistee is an antique form Sinistee, meaning it's, it found a real antique cup. Which Sinistee has the real... Oh, I don't know this. Um, so we've all got a crack. Uh, I... I honestly can't tell the difference. Is it on the bottom? That's got a mark on the bottom. Yeah. That's, good. That's probably how you tell. That's right, antique form since can be recognized by the mark on the bottom. It's cut. Hey, nice, but it doesn't matter whether they're antique uh, form or phony form. They're all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next quiz. I actually like this quiz. It's a lot more better than I thought it was going to be. Like, you're actually learning about Pokemon. This is so cool. This is the Medial Pokemon Minior. It comes in all kinds of different colors, you know? I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish Minior for me. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Alright guys, oh no. Alright. Right side, still right side. This one. Hey! <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. So this is what I wish like maybe the um, the gym challenges were a bit like. I think back to the, the psychic one was just like the, the dancing thing, that was so bad. This is like interesting because like we had like quizzes in the, the you know, Blaine's quiz for example. This is just like that but more interactive. Oh look, here comes Gramble. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. Okay, this little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question 5, will involve Gramble here. Is this question 5 already? Oh yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. But Gramble was uh, a quiet, delicate and lovable Pokemon. Of course, but can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Gramble, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? How am I supposed to know? Belly? Like... I, I would say tummy. Yeah. Don't think you can use the Gramble as a pillow though, but... <laughs> right, use that, that soft, adorable tummy. When I cuddle up to it, it's soft and cozy. We both fall asleep in just seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. So you managed to get all five of my questions right, which means... Congratulations! I mean, technically I've got four out of five, but you're officially cleared my elite trial. Hey! So why don't we head back to the plaza? Sounds good. She was tough when we first arrived, and I'm looking forward to this fight. So since you passed my elite trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? You know what? Yes I am. I'm ready. So got it. No time to waste then. Right. Let's get to our positions. I'm ready. Okay. This should be about far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Hayden. Rightfully, do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. 
So, ah, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you I mostly use fairy-type Pokemon. There's just nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too acoustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know all this already, right? Now, for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. Want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding after all? You're about to learn that cuteness is real strength. Alright, here we go. Gramble and Whimsicott. I'm going to double check, is my personalization steel type? But this, this time I'll be facing with my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. Okay. Intimidate actually kind of sucks. That's fine. Yeah, steel type, that's actually good. So let's just go for it right away. Gigaton Hammer the Gramble. And I'm going to Shadow Ball the Whimsicott. Oh, let's go Quick Claw! I love Quick Claw. I love the, uh, the axe in the head. <laughs> it's so sick. Oh, light screen. Okay. That's fine. Okay, he's gonna suck the Shadow Ball, but... This should be this cool. That's what I like to see! It's a rock solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back on you. You can try, I ain't gonna let that happen, I can switch. But you might think though, you're gonna probably think, oh, whoops, a cut. You know, that's a nice uh, ogre pond right there. But no, it's not really. Oh, the special defense drop's great. Slow bro, is that? Oh, okay. Uh, you're poison, aren't you? Mm. Can't get a good time here again. I'm just gonna go try and take out the Whimsicott. Oh, you got a critical hit on me. Okay, Whimsicott. Nice. And I'll punch it off. A little bit worried it might have a reflect, but I'm okay with that. Hmm. Unlucky. Critical hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go for Rigorath. Go for a nice psychic. You got Primarina. You're a pretty cool team. I love Rogarath. Right. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let's get you with that. You with this. Oh, quick draw. Every time I hear the word quick, quick draw as well, I always think of quick draw synchron. Oh, <laughs> Come on, get on hammer. Nice critical hit. Yeah, man, you crit me, I'll crit you right back. <laughs> Why did you land that kind of hit? That's just not right. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 you already landed a crit, man. Can't complain, you can't do something and complain about me doing the same thing. Honestly. Go for a graph. Not too bad. Creamy, oh, I can't remember, uh, Gigaton Hammer just yet. We'll go, I guess, play rough. I'll stomp it, I'll stomp it. Maybe we can take out Creamy. Yeah, a lot less than I thought it was going to do, but decorate, okay. This is your attack. That's, oh, and special attack. Oh no, Flamethrower is going to hurt. Ouch. Okay, okay, uh... Do I switch out? Right, I'm gonna switch out. Hopefully you go for Flamethrower and Sarah Ledge can take that. And then I'm just gonna Psychic Slowbro. And I wanna save Tinkerton for when you Terrestrialize, because you're 
probably make a fairy type one. And then we can just uh, do a Gigaton Hammer, hopefully. Nice. Final Flamethrower. Oh, we've got Berry. Flamethrower. Oh, man. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. It's all good, though. It's all good. Leftovers? Yeah, leftovers, okay. Alright, screen's finally over. Um, let's go Ogre Pond. Not that new throw. Uh, like, throw and throw. Oh, throw and throw? Yeah, just our throw. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna Shadow Claw. Just to see if we can do some damage. Oh, nice. And Shadow Claw can easily finish off. Ooh, okay. This is tough, man. Nice. And failed, that's good. Although I don't want that Alcrimi going for Decorate on a Terrestrialized Pokemon, which is going to come in next, so I've got to take that out. Otherwise, this could be bad. Oh, extra drill, okay. Oh yeah, and then probably fairy type. Oh, I don't actually like you. Mmm, doing that. Uh I can't yeah, I'm gonna have to just do this, because you're gonna terrestrialize. Yep, all eyes on our great big terrestrial heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. Hope this is okay. If I can take out the alcohol. Oh. Yep, saw that coming. Oh, this is bad. I don't know if I can do this. Take out our creamy corp. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Right, I'm in a, I'm in a very bad spot right now. If Quick Claw activates and I can outspeed the Extra Drill, absolutely fine. I think Gigaton, Gigaton Hammer should kill you. Oh, wrong one. But High Force Power is definitely going to kill me otherwise. Let's hope this goes. Oh man, you're dead. It's still fine, it's still fine. No, 2v1 right now. Still got Mar Masquerada. Just yeah. take you out. Go for a fairy type move, I am so dead. Oh, uh, Masquerada. It's a flower trick. Maybe. Oh, crit! Oh, yeah, sorry, it's always a crit, isn't it? Yeah. It's always a crit. Got excited for a second then, but again, it makes a drill. The Seven Flame. Uh, Terra Blast. It's gonna hurt. If we can live this, we're fine. Ouch. Okay. Come on, Ogre Pond, you gotta finish it off. Otherwise, we're in a bit of a bad situation. Yeah. Good. Woo! <laughs> I was worried about nothing. Maybe not nothing, but that was yeah, a little bit scary at the end there. That came down to the wire. That was a lot harder than um, Crispin earlier. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Nice, 12,000. Getting lots and lots of money. Hey, hey, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Oh, it's almost too much. No, just... Uh, just too cute, even for me. Uh, they were super cute. <laughs> for sure. And I get the best view as a trainer since I'm so close to the action. Your Pokemon are very uh, cute as well. Ooh, you know? 
it's just not right for two people to hoggle this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone. <laughs> I love the pictures, man. That's like one of my favorite features in like Scarlet and Violet, just a picture of everyone. Ooh, this one's just too cute. Gonna make myself a uh, backup copy or free. I'll give you this as well. That's proof of your cuteness. Lauren voice. Thank you very much. So you really are very strong when you get serious in battle, Hayden. Wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against the strongest trainers in our school. And I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Okay. Two down, and that's just running up. All right, it's two down, two more to go. Oh, yo, yo, champ in the making. So that's two elite four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Lisa's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into that her her team training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you like it. Unlike a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Seems like everyone is. <laughs> oh. Seems like things are going well with the uh, the BB League. Right, Hayden? What's up, mighty champion? Scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. It'd be so disappointing if Hayden had gotten weaker. But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Hayden, go all the way. Don't go losing. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you uh, don't even make it to me. <laughs> Someone's uh, good and riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? Better not keep ya. See ya. Good luck with the remaining Elite 2. Just you and... I'm, I'm a wrist, right? Is that her name? Sweet. Well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we take down the next two... Uh, where's the healing? Oh, there it is. Next... Oh, there's a TM there. Let's go and grab that. Nice, yeah. Next episode, we take down the next two Elite Four members. Uh, the canyon, which I've barely explored. And then the ice biome, which we have not gone to. So that's going to be kind of fun to check what kind of Pokemon around there. But definitely going to take on Drayton last. And obviously, we'll do some BBQs on the way. But uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.